Virgo, what's going on, baby? What is the word, Joe? It is me, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion, Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. I'm here for you to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2020. Show me the money, energy, yes, God. So, I just want to give a big shout out to all my OGs and all my newbies. Thank you to everyone who has clicked. Okay, I can't talk. Who has clicked? This video it has a like, share, or subscribe at any point in time that I've been on the YouTubes of the Americas. Okay, I want to shout out all my babies for all of the love and support. We got some new decks. New decks. You guys sent this deck, the Star Sea Oracle deck, through the Amazon wish list. I want to give a big shout out and love to everyone who has sent any type of support. We also got the Modern Witch Tarot deck, which y'all might have seen me use this one, but it's still a fairly new deck that we will be using today. And this one is brand new as well as the um, Circle of Life Tarot deck. So, um, and we're also using the Archetypes oracle deck which you guys have probably seen me use or just being used on internet streets period okay well come on call it out call it out so listen I want to give a quick shout out to everyone thank you so much for all the love and support if these videos resonate at any point in time and you want to send love and support you can always click the about tab in um there's various forms the amazon wish list the cash app the paypal all of that love gets put right back here on this table um if anyone wants to book a personal private reading with me my booking um price list as well as how to connect with me on instagram is all on the about tab um i do video chat so if you do not have an Instagram for us to do the video reading you can connect with me on Google Hangouts and the only thing you need to use is my email so it is scorpionreds at gmail.com if these videos resonated anytime and you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment down in the comment section you can always shout me out or send me a message on Instagram or in my email um, and just feel free to connect with me at any point in time so it is completely an open door policy to chit chat with me and um, share love and light so um, let's give praise and let's give honor and acknowledgement to the creator number one before we go into asking for any guidance that's what i normally do so father god thank you so much for connecting us today and bringing us here as a joint collective unit for the sign of virgo you already know we coming in to check out what the word is what type of energy is surrounding us for the month of april um we are all locked in and loaded we're focused on our responsibilities we are you know surrounded by family life and love um we thank you so much for all of the um things that's happened in our life up until now because a lot of people would have still been trapped around somebody a person place a thing or an environment that during this quarantine if they were stuck in this environment or around this person place a thing right now it'll probably drove them absolutely freaking crazy because they would have been somewhere with someone that they didn't want to be and we have expressed the growth and the want for freedom and because of us stepping over those boundaries you know what I'm saying because at one time Virgo felt like it was a boundary that they couldn't get over that boundary to find freedom you know what I'm saying like someone kind of had them locked in caged in closed in and we're in a place of freedom and abundance right now. And had we had not gone through that growth and that knowing, we would have been in quarantine and living hell right now. And we're not. So we just thank you so much for just like all of that growth and just us fighting for freedom and fighting for truth and fighting for happiness, Father God. We just thank you for uplifting us and gifting us. And, you know, us really just living for the will of prosperity and happiness father god it's just been washing over us give us guidance for um virgo give us the word let us know everything that we need to know everything that we need to see everything that we need to be in this current place and time father god so that we could stay on our path thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future father god give us guidance for april for the sign of virgo amen 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 yes ma'am let's get into I, why why am I keep hearing this song? Um, what is it? Baby, why don't you just meet me in the middle? I don't know why. Is that the Target song? <laughs> why is that song stuck in my head? Baby, why don't you just meet me in the middle? I'm moving on up just a little. I don't 
don't even know what the hell she said. All right. Oh, yes. Deep cellular healing. A Taurus energy, physical and emotional healing. They said right now you're in a point of I'm trying to tell y'all y'all have um y'all some of you guys are happy for this seclusion. I feel like a lot of you guys haven't been alone, just like literally alone in a long time. And you guys are being able to like kind of bask in just like shedding those old skins. Like I'm I don't know why I'm feeling I heard a burn wound victim. I don't know if someone experienced getting burned or if they just got burned by X or something, but it's like you know, like when you get burned and like that old skin, I mean that that the wound it scabs up and then after a while, once the skin starts to repair itself, it's like you'll see the skin start to you know, the old skin start to dry up as the new skin is starting to heal and replenish itself. So I feel like you guys are healing from a point in time where you guys were burnt you know what i'm saying so it might have been something where it was physically taxing on you someone could have been physically abusive to you and most definitely emotionally abusive to you and right now you guys are going through this deep cellular healing and like i'm trying to tell you thank god you guys separated yourself and got some boundaries set for you and the people that you're allowing in your energy no more. So like during this quarantine, you're allowed to be alone. It says the king, the thread, the cave, the comic, the vow, the father, and the mystic. Okay. So. Someone here. It was something in their environment that they felt like it got in the way with them being able to their vow of being a father. And it's like the king and the threat. So the king has to protect his, you know, fortress and has to protect everyone that lives in his palace do you understand what i'm saying so it's something about that king i want to say it was like some loose threading in regards to him being able to serve and honor this vow as a father as a king as a leader as a protector as a provider you know what i'm saying and whatever it is with that thread got loose it's being thread it back together so that this king can really stand firm in his destiny and his role as the king and as the father and as the protector and as the holder like things are being threaded back together um this cave here this person i definitely feel like i don't want to say that they're hiding but basically it's like they're better left kept alone right now because they are going through this deep cellular healing and it's like I need to go within this inner cave I need to like find out what it is because with this mystic right here it's like truly looking deep within to understand well what was it about me where I accepted certain things in my life where I allowed certain threads to get tangled up or to get unloose so it's like them having to go within to like see on a deep soul level like how did they kind of like lose their grip or their threading a little bit like how did things get unloose the comic it's telling me like I don't know why I feel like at one point in time, whoever this Virgo is kind of took things as a joke and maybe didn't take things as seriously as it needed to be because this vow that was taken as the father, as the protector, as the king is forever, regardless in the good, bad, rich, poor, like the vows that you will have in the relationship is a little bit different than the vows that you have as a king and as a father. You understand? Like, you're a father, you're a provider, you're a leader to all your subjects. Like, they literally look to you to provide safekeeping, to provide good counsel and wisdom and education and growth and substance. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like 
something happened where this person wasn't really taking this vow seriously and took it as a joke and there was something that had to be revealed um revealed by the mystics so this person could really see things on a deep cellular level um it was something that when well, they were losing their connection they were losing their thread into this vow as this father as his protector as his leader and as this king and the mystic had to bring them close into reality so that they could see what it is that they needed to grow and to heal on a deep solar level i'm just gonna let that burn a little bit more my candle getting down to the meat and potatoes let me see should i just let it guidance about this comment someone just uh, so spirit just said this shit ain't funny yeah the ten of swords like this shit wasn't funny like whatever was going on this shit wasn't funny it caused a lot of mental delays for you you know what i'm saying it was like you were losing grip you were like falling apart in regards to your ability to think and like leave certain things alone and just move ahead you know um it was like someone took something as a joke took something not seriously it's like the things that they were saying the things that they were doing was actually hurting you and they didn't take it seriously and realize how it was affecting you mentally and emotionally you know like yes yeah, sticks and stones may break my bones but words never can never hurt me but yeah words can hurt me in the form where i don't want to communicate with you anymore whoever whoever did this form of uh and i take sources physical abuse too that there could have been some hitting and low things that have been said and done to pull someone down and beat up someone's like ego and integrity and make someone feel like they weren't shit you know what i'm saying it's something about someone taking someone's emotions and their feelings as a joke and constantly feeling like "Ooh, oh my god do you see how this girl you see this picture you see how this girl got this knife and she cut someone's head off Oh my God, I've never seen it. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Y'all see the blood? This is an, a severed head. Bro. Bro. I have never seen. Yo, do y'all see this? She done cut this man head off, y'all. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see this? girl it's like no wonder why this person felt like they were just like mentally falling apart and just like it's like overkill and this person took this shit as if it was funny or something and it got to the point where it was like overkill like if i don't stop talking to this person if i don't stop like cutting off all communications like this bitch is going to try to literally cut my head off and put me up on her fucking mantle like a motherfucking taxidermist or some shit like that it's like this shit look this, this shit ain't funny look at the cat this shit ain't funny that was this that, that was for this six sadistic person's own personal amusement why would you think cutting somebody else's head off is a good thing to do No, like this shit wasn't funny. This shit wasn't cute. And for some reason, it was like this person, I feel like got in the way of someone's vow as a father. And it's like the mystic had to like show them that. And this thing that you're doing or what you were allowing this person to do. Give me guidance on this woman. What is this? This is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So it was something that wasn't growing. It was something that wasn't growing. And um, 
also the way I look at this is do you see how this little creature here number one I don't I don't be liking the energy of this creature bruh I don't like this motherfucker like they look mean or something now, in this deck, this little motherfucker is supposed to be like a shaman or something like that. But in the reverse, this is whoever this shaman is, whoever this, this person is that wanted to cut your head off and everything. This mystic, this is a true shaman giving light to someone that uses their magic and their works and their abilities for low vibrational reasons. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that was fixated on control because for someone to see a king and see someone as honorable, someone who has integrity, someone who has dignity, someone who has perfect purpose and to try to unthread him from his existence and his responsibilities as his vow as the father and as the leader and as the king for your own shits and giggles and things. Where this person is having to go back inside to realize who they are and having to be re-threaded. And a mystic, uh, someone who can see future, someone who's seen this person's true virtue, was able to tell them, this person that you're attached to is using their energy in a negative way. Because no one would try to hurt you in a way or use their devices to keep you away from your vow as a father. It's, I look at this as a ring of protection. Do you understand? You see how everything outside of that ring isn't green and it wasn't growing. Everything on the inside of the ring with this mystic, with this um, shaman. They say that this is a shaman. You see how everything on the outside of that protective ring isn't growing. So with this being in a reverse, it's... Someone took a very, very long and hard time and experienced a lot of bumps and bruises. Like I said, the tennis swords, almost overkill for them to learn what this person was doing and how they were using their energy to manipulate someone for their own chits and giggles. And at the end of the day, this person doesn't really have a strong amount of power on you. You know what I'm saying? You have more power if you demonstrate within yourself to stop communicating with this person when you know that this person is doing nothing but going to continuous, continuously hurt you and for you to to allow yourself to continue to indulge in playing these games you're only falling a victim to your own demise by your own decisions do you understand so it's about learning like this person already showed you who they are they want to unthread you from your responsibility as the king, as the father, as the, the leader. It's like someone wants you to step away from your obligation to kind of do what they want you to do. While suffering and dealing with their abuse. And that's not what the fuck we're doing here. What is this? The strength. No, this is... No, it's not the strength. I mean, but yeah, this is the strength. You have to have strength to stand up to... Your attacker. You understand what I'm saying? You have to have strength. Because even though that lion looks big and strong, for whatever reason, that phoenix feel like, nigga, I would tear your ass up. That phoenix is not scared. The one that's not scared to go through the transformation is not scared of that lion no more. Whatever type of threats, whatever type of abuse, you always trying to throw other people up in my face and try to make me feel like they're better than me and I'm lower, I'm not good enough. Well, good, go be with the motherfuckers and I will transform and I will get you the fuck out of my energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? This ain't growing. This is devaluing me. This is... Weakening me to who I am. You see how this person is sitting down those sticks? They are setting down a barrier for someone not to cross. Because you've crossed me one, two, three, four too many goddamn times. Far too many goddamn times. You didn't show me who the fuck you are. So now it's time for me to boss up on you. You're not as scary, little lion, as you think you are. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you figure out that you're the phoenix. <laughs> no, when you find out that you're the phoenix. What is this, the ace of coins? You see how this little dragon puffed the magic dragon. 
I don't know what the hell type of creature this is, but whatever. It's like you done metamorphed into... I don't know what the fuck type of creature this is, but this is the Ace of Coins. You being reborn anew. And it's like this dragon, whatever the hell this thing is. You see how the baby is being protected and it's being carried home to a place. Of, it's like, I don't know what type of creature that is, but ain't nobody going to touch that baby. You would think twice before trying to run up and take something from this baby. So it's like whatever... Whoever this is that was trying to interfere with you being a king, you being a leader, you being a provider, you being a perfect sanctuary for your children to rest. You know, it, it was something like, and it could be something about your children finding a perfect sanctuary in your home. There could have been someone in your home that was taking shit as a joke and your children might not have felt safe to travel there to be there because there was someone else there that was getting in the way of you taking this vow. It's like, my kids are safe to come to my house now. They can come home now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will get them there safe. Like... My kids don't ever got to feel like they can't come home or they don't have a place here. You know what I'm saying? And y'all could even be getting a new home. Y'all could easily be getting a new home as well. Because you got to take care of your family. What is this? The high priestess. So it's like you went within searching deeper answers as to like, why did I go through this experience? Why did I meet this person? Like, was this person a a good person or was this person a bad person or was this person just sent into my life to show me a way to my own divinity as you know as divine masculine or divine feminine you know what I'm saying like because at the end of the day like this had to this happened for a reason to give me some type of balance some type of duality you know what I'm saying to give me some type of spiritual um intuition and support there had to be some type of deep soul searching for you to find this balance and have this deep cellular healing because there was someone that truly thought that they could just play play fuck boy with you. You know what I'm saying? Like they could really play with you and manipulate you and dictate and do what they want to do and that you would never stand up and be this king. They really thought that they was going to try to unthread you from whatever it was that you were responsible for. You had a magician in the reverse. Whoever this was, like, was a low-level magician. It was like, they really don't know how to use their power and their magic to the ability that they talk shit about. You know what I'm saying? They might have had some little bit of control, but, like... We can easily see whatever this person did that had the control. You know what I'm saying? Like, to this mystic, to the, to the real one... You can easily spot a fake. You could really spot someone that's just playing around with some shit that really don't know what they're doing. And at the end of the day, as above, so below. When you do things like that, you always reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this was that was using pure energy and something that should have been pure and good. And someone was kind and generous to you and try to make them. Because it's like, why would you? Why would you want to encourage someone not to be a father to their children and not to want their children around or like, cause that's what I'm getting. And this man had to go within it and say, why am I allowing this person to influence me to not be a king? There's something about this Ace of Pentacles about having to take care of their foundation and their children and providing a new home, a new sanctuary where my children can be safe. And they could come home without all this conflict and shit like that. What is this? The Knight of Wands. So it's like whoever this person is, it's like they're going to continue to move forward and like to express messages of love to like people that it's something about somebody that's passed on and somebody that's passed on so it's like I don't know if they've been talking to like a, a, a relative that's passed on that's been giving them some type of loving advice and nurturing energy to kind of help them to conquer this control and to 
move on to express love because it's like for whatever reason this person is moving forward with an empty basket of emotions it's like this person almost feels burnt out but they're still being encouraged to still keep trudging on you know what i'm saying like to don't stop like don't stop like you're going the right way even though like i feel like you're emotionally burnt out um you did retain a lot of wisdom and you did strengthen your integrity and you did set some boundaries and you did stand up and be that phoenix. What is this saying? The Ten of Wands. So you've learned various different techniques and def different moves and things of that nature to protect yourself. I don't know if like you learned how to be a fighter or a warrior or something like that. But you reignited this fire and it's like you've come a long way. Keep fighting. I feel like you're, 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 you're closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the end of this situation and, and of this journey. You will be shown the signs. What is this? I think this is the... Um, I want to say this is the Queen of Cups. This is the Queen of Cups. You got the Queen of Cups and then you got the Knight. And then you got the Page of Swords. So there could be someone that might be spying and paying attention to a water sign female. Um, the water sign female could possibly be like the mother or someone very wise and someone very emotionally balanced and someone very emotionally giving and it's something about this person is the merchant is taking the lucky goose that shits golden eggs I don't know why I'm getting that it's something I feel like this Magic goose shits golden eggs. Golden eggs. Golden eggs. The children, golden eggs. It's like, did someone want to take the magic goose from the queen of water or something like that it's like someone was trying to devise a plan to remove the sacred goose cause the goose be on water too but the goose flies and the go like the phoenix But the phoenix, the goose could be on land or water. The sword is, the goose could be on land, water, or in the sky. Like, I'm sorry, are y'all following me here? It's like, this magical goose could be on land, water, or in the sky. Right? Very versatile. Has a lot of purposes. Someone wanted this magical goose for themselves. Because I feel like they wanted a magic egg. But the goose wouldn't lay an egg for whoever this person was that tried to remove it. Because I don't feel like this person isn't like nicely removing. Like it seemed, don't it look like he's stealing something? And you know, swords can mean thievery. But this queen of water, she's smart. It's like, I'm going to let you take it. Because it ain't going to lay no eggs for you. It's not going to lay no eggs for you. So I don't know if... I'm serious. I, I'm really feeling like... That's why this bitch, this magician in the reverse, like... The golden, the golden goose would not lay no eggs for her. 
And instead of her looking at it like it was her, you don't know how to use your magic, right? You ain't it's like you manifesting the wrong things. It's like you're trying to take God will never give you somebody else's man or somebody else's treasure. You got to, you know, you got to inherit your own. It was the way this person went about it. That's that's why everything like this person took this shit as a joke. And because that golden goose would not lay them eggs, this motherfucker try to was using their words and manipulation and hurtful things to try to cut this person's head off and to this person cut communication with them because they didn't want this person to have any more power over them anymore. Mm. Give me guidance and love. It says, imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. All that unwanted shit, um, again, deep cellular healing, allow that shit to fade the fuck on away. I feel like this person is gone. This person is gone being left to deal with their own devices. Like, that's who you want to be. That's how you want to live your life. That's how you want to lose your You That's how you want to use your energy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave you right where you is, stuck in your own demise. Look, I feel like someone is extremely thankful. Oh, Lord. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you are deserving to be and have all your heart truly desires. It's like really kissing God and just appreciating every single thing that he did to like unroot you guys from this situation and this could have been easily someone that had to deal with that might have had children with a virgo male or you could be a virgo and someone was trying to have this manipulation control over your children's father or something like that and you might have been frustrated and you might have to go through deep cellular healing as well you know what I'm saying? But this, whoever this male is, they they are the ones that are growing at this point. It's like they had to see it for themselves. They had to see it for themselves. Look, yes, I'm trying to tell you. Look, the journal, the secrets. It was hidden shit in regards to this relationship. Listen, hidden shit, gossip, a lot of argument. Like, this is like arguments, conversation. It's like... It's like this person, this person was watching and like going into someone's phone or something, trying to get access, trying to like read people's personal shit. And like, I, whoever this person was, was like extremely insecure. Like I said, the stalker, that's why I said the stalker right here. It was like watching or trying to find the opportunity to come in and take what they wanted or something like that. Yeah, and again, that's like public re recognition and like. But the eight of spades, my nigga. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And then it's like the crossroads. So. I'm really like somebody was really dealing with some heinous like intrusive ass bullshit. It's like there could have been a lot of arguments about like where someone's been going. Like, you know, why do you have the I feel like there was an argument about why someone has the key to like maybe their children's mother's house or something or maybe the children's father have access. And I feel like it was literally for it wasn't nothing like I feel, just someone could have been searching through someone's phone, through someone's browser history, like trying to research and study and looking into where someone's going, where someone's having. And someone's like extremely insecure and it might have something to do with someone having. Look, where is this person going? Like they're trying to see if they are out in the public with someone. Where has someone been going? Uh, you know, like, no. 
it's like if you've been meeting with someone secretly in the public trying to find another like trying to bring on competition and whoever this is that you might be this person is low level mystic this person in the reverse where is the page of, of, of pinnacle the knight of pinnacles in the reverse where things weren't going anywhere things weren't going to be successful there and with this five of wands this conflict where you having to stand up for yourself behind this lady it's like all of this has to do with some fair skinned lady or something like that it's like this person is jealous about this lady and is trying to figure out have y'all been talking to each other on the pub in the public, like on the internet? So this person could be checking your timeline and see if you've been commenting on this person's timeline or if you've been saying anything like this. You know what I'm saying? Do you still still have the key to go over there or whatever? And it's like even if this person does have the key to go over to this lady's house, it's only for the children, like for emergency situation. If like the school was to ever call for an emergency and like say the father had to pick up the kids the mother's house is probably the closest to the school you know what i'm saying so it's for convenience or something like that do you understand it's not for what this person thinks it's for and it's like this person plays too many games in regards to this man's ability to do things for his children you know what i'm saying so um yeah the fish you see this this came out in the reverse so excuse me let me close this door hey you guys i'm recording so the fish that came out in the reverse again that's showing me again lack of pregnancy i feel like this person was jealous because that's confirmed it's like this person was jealous because this man wouldn't lay a golden egg for her or wouldn't wouldn't give her a golden egg or something like that like I don't I feel like this person is barren like this person can't have children or something like that like dead fish you see like the fish is upside down you know upside down fish mean like they're, they're I, I feel like I don't know if I feel like this this person had miscarriages or something like that but it's like whoever this was it's like this they let their soul turn rotten where because they had miscarriages and they can't produce any fish of their own it's like they don't want this person to be responsible to the other children that they created yeah you got the hermit the two of swords and the ten of cups so basically what this is telling me here is like Whoever this person is that is going through this separation, there's definitely someone that's going through a separation right now. Okay? Lord Jesus Christ. So there is someone that's going through a separation right now. And someone is going to like, and again, here we go. Someone looking through their computer for some, it's like someone is going to look through this computer when they're by themselves and they're going to, feel like someone has been in my computer doing something to my computer or again even while you're in separation this could be someone going through your shit you see how this person is don't it look like she opening up this computer like it's not hers for some reason like y'all in separation but she's going through someone's search engine and so i feel like someone still has access to like your search engine or something like that and they shouldn't have access to this it's like they're seeing some shit that they should not be privy to see you know what i'm saying and i really don't like that i really don't like that i really don't like that so if you guys have not changed y'all passwords. I want y'all to change y'all passwords, okay? But right now, y'all are in separation. And I feel like it's for you guys to research and to take the blindfold off and finally make a decision on, like, where you want to go in regards to matters of your family. You know what I'm saying? There is already a separation in regards to your family. There's a single man, someone that is healing from a separation with someone that was toxic and that was using their energy for something low vibrational and evil control because they couldn't have children they didn't want this person to be a father to the children that it like come on do you understand what i'm saying like you have to separate yourself and really look 
deep within and see what this person was trying to do because some way somehow some shape or form someone still is having a hard time seeing the bigger picture of what this sneaky motherfucker was doing and how it was interfering with the success of their family you know what i'm saying you can still have a happy relationship and still obtain and sustain the vows of the king and of the father and stuff like that and still be in another relationship i feel like this person was just in a relationship with like a fucked up person you know what i'm saying like y'all were in a relationship with someone that was probably very young very immature juvenile you know what i'm saying like you can't play with children like that you know what I'm saying? Then you got the lovers and then you got the nine of cups. So what this is basically saying to me is as soon as you like spend some time and looking and you got the empress right there. Okay. And she is very, very beautiful. So I definitely feel like you guys are going to have a revision in regards to love. You have to seriously cut this person out because the more and more that you deal with this person, and let this person cross boundaries and intrude with your ability to keep up your vow as the head of the household, as the father, as the king. I don't give a fuck if you're in the house with your kids or if you're not in the house. You still have to uphold that vow of being a king and being a father to your children. And if this person is jealous because they can't have children and they're being verbally abusive to you and and beating up on you because they cannot have children because they have issues and they are getting away with you being a father to the children that you already have you need to listen again seclude yourself and go through your soul journey and realize that you're better than that you understand someone gotta snatch you up and realize to do more looking inside and realize that you're better than that. And people should not intrude. No, 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 no. That's somebody else's insecurity. Because they want a happy family that they're not able to produce for whatever reason. And that has nothing to do with you. You have to see that. And you cannot continuously hold yourself back and aid and allow someone to hurt you. To hurt you like that. You still have a family to take care of. And you can't just be blindsided by somebody else's inconsistency and whack job ass motherfucking brain thinking where you're allowing your family to be affected by it. Take the blindfold off and make a decision finally to choose your family and put your family first. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like that's what you have to do because someone was allowing love to interfere with them putting their family vows and stuff first you can still find love and still have your personal happiness do you understand you can have your love and your personal happiness and have your family look the nine of cups the ten of cups you just gotta go within and finally make a decision about what's right for you and what is the right soulmate connection for you because this this shit right here ain't it this shit ain't it this shit ain't it and that's why you had to go through this physical and emotional healing from what this person has done like this person has really put a fucking number on you bruh and they still trying to do it they still trying to do it i'm gonna tell you what you're a king and you deserve a queen and that's why that empress was right under here that's why this empress is right and you know what else this empress energy means it means it's time to do yourself over to be made over make yourself all the way over i want you to have a comfortable, beautiful home, a comfortable, loving environment that you love going to every day. Don't ever have nobody in your environment that takes shit as a motherfucking joke and shit is not even motherfucking funny when really your family and your children mean the fucking world to you. And if they don't understand and they take that shit for a motherfucking joke, how the fuck would they feel if some if their kids' father, their kids' mother allows somebody else that is 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 think shit is funny? About someone not standing up and being there for their children. I ain't shit funny about that. And people think that that shit is funny to manipulate and use and abuse people in that way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, if you go over there, you go over your baby mother's house, you go over your baby father, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Like, don't listen. Don't do that. That's not an empress. 
That's an empress in the reverse. That's a barren bitch that can't have no kids. Got a nasty ass attitude, a nasty ass heart. And that's why God ain't blessing her with no motherfucking kids. Because you nasty and you dirty. And God would never bless no children. Okay? To come up under a nasty little stank ass hole like that with energy like that. What type of woman would get in the way of a man being a fucking father? You're trash. Anyway, that's why your trash ass ain't had no motherfucking babies. Fuck that shit. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Because I'm going to tell you what. Clearly, this motherfucker was good. You see that all them bag, that bag, all them eggs and all that shit? Clearly, it, it ain't nothing wrong with the magic goose. or something wrong with the motherfucker that stole it. The bitch don't want to lay no eggs for you, bitch. Because you're a thief. Fuck out of here. Anyway, I gotta go. Because that shit just pissed me off. Again, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Listen, the lovers, the nine of cups. Get this joke, this idiot. You, you, you're not even cute. You're not even funny. Ain't none of this shit funny. And you gonna reap what you sow. Every little bit. Every little thing that you did to get in the way of this man being a leader and a protector for his children. When you finally have one of your own, you're going to reap every fucking thing that you sow. You're going to reap everything that you sow, baby. Hmm? That part. If this video resonates, y'all click that like button. I love you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Peace.